hi um so if you're just clicking on my channel for the first time and you're thinking wow amy you are hella ugly today well you are not wrong i just got back from dance and therefore i'm looking a little sweaty a little sister sweat but and a little sister sticky but that's okay because i have just washed my face so it's looking a little sister dry no that's not how it works Anyway, so before we broke up from dance in like the summertime, which was July, my brain is not working today. I took two dance exams. I took a theatre craft grade five and I took a I took a musical theatre exam. Has it got like a posh name? Probably. Do I know what that posh name would be? No, I do not. Today I received all my marks, my scores, and I thought we could do a little unboxing from like IDTA. Like, I thought we'd go to the certificates first. Let's start with musical theatre, shall we, lads? So here is my IDTA. I've already bent it a little bit. You know, carrying this home in the British rain while walking for about 15 minutes, um, does cause a bit of damage, especially when your bag is this big and you had to carry it and like keep it dry under your coat. It was a mess, I tell you that. I went for the Gold Bar Musical Theatre Syllabus Duo, so thanks Arme, you helped me get this. Um, and I got an honours, which I think is good. I genuinely have never done a musical theatre exam and I do not know how they are marked. I'm bending it again. Oh my god. Ah, uh, now. Let me tell you a story about the shambles that was our grade 5 theatre craft exam. Firstly, I had never danced in character hills before, which you think would be standard for most dancers, but for me, it hasn't been. I've always avoided it at all costs because I've never done a ballet exam before. I've never had the need in an exam setting to dance in them, therefore I've always just been like, nah, it's fine. I didn't know I needed to do three or four three or four dances in my character hills and it was a little it was a sister scandal when like two weeks before the exam i was told i needed um to do them in their character shoes and then it was a extra bigger sister scandal when i had to i only received my shoes like the week before so I had to like practice at home, like in my heels, which was completely new to me because I've never worn anything with an ounce of a heel in my life. I've always been in trainers since like the day I was born. Here I am, I got a merit, which was fun. No, I was three marks of a distinction, was I? I can't count. Yeah, I was three marks of a distinction. I got 10 credits for you, Cass. <laughs> um, so we appreciate that. Thanks, IDTA. Here is my um, exam sheet. This is where they give you like your marks. So, for the technique, I got 48 out of 60, which I think is really good, because let me tell you another story about this exam. We do like the exams in order, and then you do like your bar exercise, which for theatre craft you do a bar, a floor, and a stand, which is basically the same exercise. You do it on the floor, you do it in a bar, and then you do it without anything. So we did that. It was fine. It was all good. We did London Mark, which was fine. It was all good. Now this is where the tea starts to boil because, babe, my disabled hips could not handle the hill and jumping at the same time. I think it was, um, I can't remember what the exercises are called. It's called Blast from the Past and the kicks are wild, I tell you that. And my hips, my poor, poor disabled hips were not really feeling that, especially in heels on a slippery floor. And during the exam, I my right side first and then I had to do it on my left. And during the left, I found this bit of varnish on the floor and obviously me being me decided to go, let's do a kick right into it. And I like, I slipped, but not really. Like I could feel if I had gone any harder in my kick, I would have probably gone on my butt, but like it wasn't noticeable of a slip, if that makes sense. Dancers will understand. And then and I kind of dislocated my hip. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really f During my dance exam, which no, we stand a queen because clearly that God was not having me in this exam. Then we had to do a girl's lyrical in heels. Bearing in mind, I could not pop my hip back in properly. So I was dancing completely with a hip that had 
like the tendon, I feel like it got caught. Because sometimes this happens, like when my hip slips out, my tendon wraps down the back and then when I try to push it in, it doesn't go because obviously that's in the way. That's a really bad demonstration. I hope that made any sense. Probably not, I don't care. I've got a 48 out of 60 for my technique using half of the exam with a dislocated hip. So, you know what? I'm gassed. My musicality was a 17 out of 20 and I'm like, babe, I couldn't even hear. I was in so much pain for the other half of the exam. For performance, I got a 17 out of 20, which is really good because during the girls' lyrical, and I thought I was like gonna cry. I was in so much pain. I think she kind of said that as a, wow, you're so emotive. Let me write that down. I was like, bitch, I'm actually gonna cry. Here we have her note. I'll I'll read it out for you. Hmm. All set work was well known. Work for more strength on DVD low to enhance technique. Take care to stretch your feet and your legs on your kicks. I think my left side was okay, but that's why I dislocated my hip and I didn't. I can keep hearing a phantom like phone going off and it's really pissing me off because I the phone isn't going off. Anyway, back to this. Good response to amalgamation. If you're not a dancer, an amalgamation is when the examiner teaches you something in your, your exam and then you have to do it. So they might teach you an eight count. I think we learned a 16 count. That's a lie, it was a bit more. It was like two 16 counts, but I can't do maths, so I have no idea what that would equal. Now, let's get to an IDTA unboxing. Should we go for the big one first? Nah, big one last. So, <clears throat> um, how do I even open this? Right, so I'm not sure what one this is for, so I'm probably gonna stick the wrong thing on the wrong one. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh my god, it's actually engraved! That's I've never received one of these from an exam before. It says duo Amy Collahan and then my dance school, which I think is like really damn cute because like we stand. I think I need to stick this like on there, but I'm gonna get my dad to do that because I will never get that right. So there's that box. <laughs> Second box. I think this is, I actually genuinely don't know why I have this because I didn't receive any of this. Okay. Wow, that's mega. Oh my god, okay. It says grade award, grade five award, Amy Collahan, North Team Academy of Dance. So, you know, like that. I have nowhere to put these. I don't even have a shelf in my room. So, this is going to be mm, a bit of a sister um, scale of a renovation. Thanks for unboxing my dance results with me, I suppose. Um, if you want to see me fail more at dance and like everything else in life, which seems to happen all the time for me, then please give it a like and you can comment down below if you are a dancer, what's your favourite type of dance? And do not comment Fortnite because that is not a type of dance, but I have genuinely, genuinely had people ask me if I train in Fortnite. <laughs> Anyone who's a dancer probably felt the same amount of pain that I just did. If you want to stick around for more, give it a subscribe. If you don't, I don't care. But if you do, I love you. I stand you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!